Hello, good day everyone. I am Juliana Melrose Tamayo and I will be the one to report about the Belenkovich theory and its cycle. What we'll discuss? In this report, we are going to tackle about what is Milankovitch cycle, what are the three Milankovitch parameters, what is Milankovitch theory, what's the rule, and how do they work on our Earth. Who developed the Milankovitch theory? The person who developed the Milankovitch theory is no other than Melotin Milankovitch. He is best known for developing one of the most significant theories relating earth motions and long-term climate change. The cycles are named after him. He is a Serbian anthropocentrist who began investigating the cause of Earth's ancient ice ages in the early 90s. According to the American Museum of Natural History (AMNH). As you can see in the picture right here, this is Melatin Milankovic. Milankovic dedicated his career to developing a mathematical theory of climate based on the seasonal and latitudinal variations of solar radiation received by the Earth, now known as the Milankovic theory. It states that as the Earth tra travels through space around the Sun, cyclical variations in three elements of Earth's Sun geometry combine to produce variations in the amount of solar energy that reaches Earth, eccentricity, obliquity, and precession. Together, the periods of these orbital motions have become known as Milankovitch cycles. And here's a picture of Milankovitch cycles and how it looks like, and as you can see. So, what is Milankovitch cycle? A Milankovitch cycle is a cyclical movement related to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. There are three of them which is the eccentricity, a shelf tilt, and the precession. According to the Milankovitch theory, these three cycles combine to affect the amount of solar heat that's incident on the Earth's surface and subsequently influence climate patterns. Our lives literally revolve around cycles. I think we all know that. Well, probably. Series of events that are repeated regularly in the same order. There are hundreds of different types of cycle in our world and in the universe. Some are natural, such as the change of the seasons, and while animal migrations are the circadian rhythms that govern our sleep patterns. Other are human produced like growing and harvesting crops, musical rhythms, or economic cycles. Just like this cycle going on around our universe. So what's the role of a cycle or the Milankovitch cycle? Cycles also play key roles in the Earth's short-term weather and long-term climate. A century ago, Serbian scientist Melotin Milankovitch hypothesized the long-term collective effects of changes in Earth's position relative to the Sun are strong driver of Earth's long-term climate and are responsible for triggering the beginning and end of glacial periods, which is the Ice Ages. Specifically, he examined how variations in three types of Earth orbital movements affect how much sol solar radiation, known as insulation, reaches the top of Earth's as atmosphere as well as where the insulation reaches. These cyclical orbital movements, which become known as the Milankovitch cycles, cause variations of up to 25% in the amount of incoming insulation at Earth's mid-latitudes. Mid-latitudes are the areas of our planet located between about 30 and 60 degrees north and south of the equator. So the Milankovitch cycles include 1. The variations in the Earth's orbital eccentricity, which is the shape of the orbit around the Sun. 2. Changes in obliquity. Changes in the angle that Earth's axis makes with the plane of Earth's orbit. 3. The precession, which is the change in the direction of the Earth's axis of rotation. The axis of rotation behaves like the span axis of a top that is winding down. Hence, it traces a circle on the celestial sphere over a period of time. Furthermore, about eccentricity, it's the path of the Earth's orbit around the Sun, which is not a perfect circle, but an ellipse. 
this elliptical shape changes from less elliptical, nearly a perfect circle, to more elliptical and back, and is due to the gravitational fields of neighboring planets, particularly the large ones, which is the Jupiter and Saturn. The measure of the shape's division from being a circle is called eccentricity. That is, the larger the eccentricity, the greater is its division from a circle. Thus, in terms of eccentricity, the Earth's orbit undergoes a cyclical change from less eccentric to more eccentric and back. One complete cycle for this kind of variation lasts for about 100,000 years. Eccentricity is the reason why our seasons are slightly different lengths, with summers in the northern hemisphere currently about 4.5 days longer than winters, and springs about 3 days longer than autumns. As eccentricity decreases the length of our seasons, gradually evens out. And this is how it looks like when changes in eccentricity happens, and that's how, and that's how it moves. As you can see. Asial tilt, also known as the obliquity. We know the Earth is spinning around its own axis, which is the reason why we have night and day. However, this axis is not upright. Rather, it tilts at angles between 22.1 degrees and 24.5 degrees and back. These angles are measured between the angle of the axis to an imaginary line normal, which is perpendicular to the Earth's plane of orbit. A complete cycle for the Aishal Telt lasts for about 41,000 years. Greater telts mean that the hemisphere closer to the sun during summer will experience a larger amount of heat than when the telt is less. In other words, regions in the extreme upper and lower hemisphere will experience the hottest summers and the coldest winters during a maximum telt. It was last at its maximum tilt about 10,700 years ago and will reach its minimum tilt about 9,800 years from now. As obliquity decreases, it gradually helps make our seasons milder, resulting in increasingly warmer winters and cooler summers that gradually over time allow snow and ice at high latitudes to build up into large ice sheets. As ice cover increases, it reflects more of the sun's energy back into space, promoting even farther cooling. And this is what it looks like in the Earth in changes and oblique, obliquity. Precession Aside from the tilt, the axis also wobbles like a top. A complete wobble cycle is more or less 26,000 years. This motion is caused by tidal forces from the sun and moon. Precession as well as tilting are the reasons why regions near at the poles experience very long nights and very long days at certain times of the year. For example, in Norway, the sun never completely descends beneath the horizon between late May to late, late July. The Milankovitch cycles are among the arguments fielded by the detractors of the global warming concept. According to them, the Earth's current warming is just part of a series of cyclical events that take thousands of years to complete and hence cannot be prevented. Asial precession makes seasonal contrast more extreme in one hemisphere and less extreme in the other. Currently in perihelion occurs during winter in the northern hemisphere and in summer in the southern hemisphere. This makes Southern Hemisphere summers hotter and moderates Northern Hemisphere seasonal variations. But in about 13,000 years, Asial precession will cause these conditions to flip, with the Northern Hemisphere seeing more extremes in solar radiation and the Southern Hemisphere experiencing more moderate seasonal variations. Precession does not affect seasonal timing relative to Earth's closest and farthest points around the Sun. However, the modern calendar system ties itself to the seasons, and so, for example, the Northern Hemisphere winter will never occur in July. Today, Earth's North Stars are Polaris and Polaris Australis, but a couple of thousand years ago, they were Co, Cab, and Percad. There's also a apsidal precession. Not only does Earth's axis wobble, but the Earth's entire orbital ellipse also wobbles irregularly primarily due to its interactions with Jupiter and Saturn. 
the cycle of upsidal precession spans about 112,000 years. Upsidal precession changes in the orientation of Earth's orbit relative to the elliptical plane. The combined effect of axial and upsidal precession result in an overall precession cycle spanning about 23,000 years on average. And this is how it looks like when axial precession happens and how it's and how it wobbles. And that would be all for my topic. And here's my references. And thanks for listening. I hope you have learned from me. Bye.